What's going on? We back. Motor City Sports Talk. Talking about the Detroit Lions. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the Piston video a little bit passionate earlier. But the Lions are taking precautions and going back to basics with the running game early into these OTA or whatever you want to call them, mini camps. Um, you know, I'm going to link the article in the description. Um, they're going back to like real basic, you know, running back stuff. You know, they implemented a, a running game coordinator. They implemented a... a a uh, new offensive line coach and Matt Patricia is being very, 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 uh, you know, he keeping his own personal eye on the run game. You know, you know, he doing that himself. He got experience with running the ball and, and all that stuff. And, and he's a defensive type of guy, but he has an offensive background as well. And you got to understand how offenses work. Um, um, you know. You know how offenses, how, you know, if you're a defensive quarter, you got to know how the offenses work, man. So, um, they, you know, putting bags out there and having coaches jump into different lanes, simulating them as offensive line and making the running back make the right cut and stuff of that nature. So, they real serious, man. And I think that's the most top priority, I mean, priority for, um, you know, getting this run game off the ground. I think it's very important. And I think they see that's very important. That's their top priority. And that's the most money they spent or in picks they invested this into this run game. With Crosby and Frank Ragnow um, and, and LeGarrette Blunt and, and Kerryon Johnson and Nick uh, Barwin, Barwin, the, the uh, fullback from San Diego State, they making those investments, man. You know, and they see like, all right, man, this is this is the issue. Our quarterback is dropping back fifty times and he can't get third and short. He can't get run assistance in the. Uh, in the red zone, he running, he 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 throwing, he he, he like the white Willie uh, Willie Beeman, he steaming Beeman, you know, and, and they like man, we we see it where we weak is at, and not even in the the, the field goal kicking game, the punt game, the defensive backs, the front seven, you know, the wide receivers, the tight end, the linebackers, the DB, they identified that the running game position was most affecting the team and the weakest point of the team. Contrary to a lot of people believe, this run game has been weak for about a decade, other than the blip of Reggie Bush and Joy Bell, fabulous season. And they going back to real, real basics, and sometimes you have to tear it down and start all off from ground zero. And, you know, that's what people don't realize. Same thing I was trying to explain about it with the Pistons. Sometimes you have to tear it down and do it right, then... Trying to fix it while you're on the move, you know. Trying to fix everything around the problem instead of actually fixing the problem, you know. And that's what the Lions have done. They's trying to, they's trying to put this run game together on the move so much. They trying to snap pieces on. They trying to just half-ass, you know, do it and 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 put and put and just you know just be lazy. You know, trying to fix everything around the problem. And now that Patricia's got here, he probably sat down with Bob Quinn and said, this is the problem, and we got to fix this problem all the way. No more putting right, getting new office alignment and doing this. Look, we got a lame duck center. That's the issue. The point of attack starts with the center and moving the ball north and south starts with him. You know, we need running backs. We, You, you try the Abdullah. You know, you try theoretic. They good. Complimentary backs. We need some some horses. We need some bigger backs in here. You know, Eric Ebron, you know, he no help in the run game. He no help in the play action game. He no help catching it. I mean, why do we got him here? You know, and I can see, you know, somebody that that map that uh Bob Quinn opinion that's very valued, you know, he getting that from from Patricia. He getting that valued opinion. Excuse me, I'm a little bit tired. He getting that valued opinion. And now they they starting to make power moves. And getting back to, 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 to basics, it's showing me that they trying to grow. they trying to do this thing from the ground up and do it right. And they want to protect their $100 million investment. And that's something that the Lions haven't done in the past. They put a Barry out there. They put a Calvin. They put a Matt. They put a Dominic Kusu out there. And they pull a whole bunch of weak supporting cast around. They don't compliment them or want to spend the money or use the resources to really do it. You know, and I think ultimately for the Fords, and I, and I want to speak for them, but the New England way, the cheap way, that's proven to work, and it's a system that does work, I think this is a perfect fit for them. Well, they don't have to break the bank, but they, they got a system they can plug and play, and they know what type of players and the ideal players that fit the system and how it's going to run. So 
from that standpoint, yeah. But I'm happy to see them starting completely over with this run game and doing it the right way. And if it don't work from this from this point on, then I don't know what to say. You know, because they started completely over. You know, they started completely over, and they doing things back to basics. So one of the running backs, or a couple of them, may thrive going back to basics and going back with the offensive line can just get the basic. And we're going to talk about a little bit of things they can change in the run game tomorrow as far as they uh, – no schematics, but it's Motor City Sports Talk. We're gone.